Welcome back. Today was the final day for the 31st AFRI Exim Bank annual meeting and the third edition of the AFRI Caribbean Trade and Investments Forum. The focus for today's program was policy imperatives for attracting trade and investments into the Caribbean and a private sector perspective on AFRI Caribbean business opportunities. Similar discussions are expected to continue with the Davis administration considering AFRI Exim's approved $1.5 billion investment for 11 CARICOM states, including the Bahamas. Outlining a blueprint for collaboration at the opening ceremony, Prime Minister Philip Davis called for the creation of a joint financial task force and harmonized regulatory framework to unite banking systems and grow economies across Africa and the Caribbean. Prime Minister Davis says the meeting represents a pivotal moment for both regions, especially small island developing states. A mini agricultural business expo showing off the hard work and talent of Bahamian entrepreneurs throughout the country was held in Ruston Square during a break in parliamentary sessions this week, with Agriculture Minister Jomo Campbell and Prime Minister Philip Davis participating in a walkthrough that allowed vendors to provide samples of homegrown goods. Asked if the Bahamas could sustain itself in terms of food security, the Prime Minister says, yes, we can. This, this expo is to demonstrate what we can do, not what we will do. And we'll be, we'll be continuing to put resources behind initiatives to feed ourselves. And I'm so elated to see so many people involved uh, and, and that people have come to recognize that we need to feed ourselves and are engaging in farming and fishing. And here they are showing their wares. And not just farming and fishing, they're also carrying it to the next level. They're adding value. They, you know, they, have, they have their processing, where they're making jams, pepper sauce, um, and all the other uh, byproducts that we can get from what is grown. Meanwhile, the agriculture minister optimistically says the number of Bahamians participating in backyard gardening and showing interest in food sustainability is on the rise. You should all be familiar with Chief Meteorologist Basil Dane. He was featured on our Good to Grow program and shows us his fantastic backyard gardening. And you know, the list goes on and on with the ordinary Bahamian citizen who, just like days in the past, demonstrate that we still can have our bread pepper on the outside of the door. We can still have our lemon tree to make our lemonade. And all of the locally grown fruits and vegetables to help support ourselves. Any little small step we can take makes a big dent into the food import bill. And that's all we want to do. We want to show Bahamian people that we in the ministry believe in what we can do. But we can only accomplish it with public buy-in. And so that is why we came here today. If the mountain couldn't come to Mohammed, we decided to bring Mohammed to the mountain. The agriculture minister is encouraging Bahamians to partner with and believe in the government's food security efforts. And finally, on the crime front, we told you that the government and the police will have a zero tolerance for growing criminal activity on the family islands. Well, on Thursday, the police informed that Dave Elmore Neely of Cowpen Road here in the capital appeared before the magistrate's court in South Andros for possession of a firearm and ammunition after he was caught with the items on Wednesday of this week by security officers from the airport authority as he attempted to board an airplane back to the capital. The 41-year-old was sentenced to two and a half years for the firearm and one year for the ammunition and those sentences will run concurrently. Back here in the capital, car theft and more frequently or more recently and frequently, carjackings continue to be a major concern for residents here in the capital. Police are reporting that three males ages 36, 25 and 22 years old are in police custody after they were found in possession of a stolen Nissan Juke on Thursday around 6 a.m. in the morning in the area of Rosedale Street off Mackey Street where they were located. The vehicle was subsequently uh, taken from the men and they were arrested. Officers also discovered and confiscated a loaded handgun from the men. Police investigations continue. And that'll do it for your JCN Evening News. Once again, I'm Jorino Saunders. Thank you so much for joining us. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.